So just a really uh, bright, uh, shining time, even though the weather's not so great today. UCSF Chief Pharmacy Executive Desi Kotis is excited for a special delivery, about 1,000 doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. She's leading the distribution. We um, hope to receive vaccine at UCSF Monday, Tuesday at the latest, and we'll start vaccinating uh, on Wednesday. Frontline health care workers will be first in line to get the first of two doses of the vaccine. UCSF, one of seven medical facilities in the state, to take delivery first. CODA says the vaccine won't be mandatory for UCSF health employees. Folks can decline, folks can pause, and then maybe a few weeks or a month later decide they want to become back vaccinated. We're not making it mandatory. UPS and FedEx will be transporting the first doses from Pfizer's plant in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Governor Gavin Newsom tweeted, California has spent the last few months preparing for the arrival of the COVID-19 vaccine. We expect our initial 327, 600 doses as early as this weekend. Hope is on the horizon. You know, it's game on. Marin County Public Health Officer Dr. Matt Willis expects his first doses by Monday. First stop, the county's emergency operations center, where these ultra-cold storage units will be standing by to keep the Pfizer drug stable at 94 below zero Fahrenheit. Local hospitals like Marin General will be the next stop. But we're prioritizing those who are most at risk right now and most essential for our response. So that's our essential frontline workers on the emergency departments, ICUs, as well as staff and skilled nursing facilities that have been so hard hit by this pandemic. San Jose State Professor Mark Schwartz warns the rollout may not be perfect. We will have problems here and there, but for the most part, I think we've had time to plan. And I think it'll come off reasonably smoothly. Experts say the challenge will be getting enough doses for everyone who wants one. That will take time. UCSF and Marin County say they expect to receive more doses later next week. In the newsroom, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.